Speed limit enforcement cameras have long sparked debate, but in East Cleveland, they have been a contentious topic for nearly two decades. Located in high traffic areas and often without clear warnings, these cameras have raised significant concerns. Not just about their presence, but doubts about their accuracy and the adequacy of the program's oversight. Studies have also indicated that such systems disproportionately target low-income, black and brown communities. And in Cleveland, these findings are echoed by local experiences. After receiving a ticket in the mail stating that he was speeding on Noble Road during the time he claims to have been at work, Cleveland Heights resident Ray Griffin was shocked. I received this citation on Tuesday, 1121, right before Thanksgiving. It said I was going 29 and a 20 at 12.55 p.m., which isn't possible because I work until 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. And Ray isn't alone. Other neighbors in his area have voiced similar concerns over the accuracy of this equipment and the legitimacy of the program itself. I don't believe it contains accurate information, and I spoke to several other members in my neighborhood, which all voiced similar concerns. They've had other tickets like mine, which didn't have accurate information. Um, some of them even got tickets for days they weren't even in town. And many residents are confused by the ongoing existence of these cameras when a vote of East Cleveland City Council passed to eliminate the program earlier this year. Hungry for answers, we reached out to the city of East Cleveland and the answers we got were conflicting and tense. According to East Cleveland Assistant Law Director Heather McCullough, the fact that City Council voted to end the program doesn't matter. The Council has no authority to make it vote, but it doesn't matter because the citizens voted it in, so the Council can't vote it. And when asked about the appeals process, camera calibration, maintenance and program oversight, the consistent answer wants to call the number on the ticket. According to McCuller, the program is nearly entirely run by the third-party company who owns the cameras. While an officer signs off on each citation, this is done after the alleged violations occur and residents have no way to face their accuser in court. The seemingly unknown intricacies of the relationship between East Cleveland and Vera Mobility, the Arizona trade name for the Kansas company, American Traffic Solutions, Inc., who operates the cameras, is baffling. These programs have a lot of controversy nationally, and with threats of warrants, denied vehicle registration renewal, and even jail time mentioned on notices we've seen from around the country, to what extent will they go to collect? So what should you do if you receive one of these notices? Many residents suggest ignoring them, and our investigation has yet to find any with consequences for doing so. For a full report on this case, visit cleveland13news.com. In East Cleveland, I'm B. Hackman with Cleveland 13 News.